this is Laura from LiveVisions.com and I just wanted to give you guys some information on Mercury, the sign of Mercury and what it means. Um, Mercury is the planet of communication and Mercury goes retrograde about three times a year. It is the fastest moving planet. planet. Um, the moon's actually faster but the moon is really a luminary. So, um, when Mercury does go retrograde, depending on the house that it's in, usually you're rethinking, redoing something in that house or people from the past tend to re-enter. When Mercury does go retrograde, they ask that you don't sign contracts and unless it's something that you were offered prior to the Mercury going retrograde. So let's say, they always say it's not good to start something new during a Mercury retrograde if it's in the house that you, that, you know, that it's in. So let's say that is it a good time to start a new relationship? Probably not if Mercury's retrograding in your seventh house. But is it a good time to fix things with an ex? Definitely. You may actually hear from an ex if it's retrograding in your seventh house. Um, wherever Mercury is going retrograde, you're asked to kind of look within and sort of reanalyze, rethink whatever you know it was retrograding in that in in that house. Um, Pretty much, like I said, Mercury goes retrograde three times a year. And um, during this time, communications can get lost. You could have miscommunications with people. Documents are lost. Um, bad time to sign legal agreements because of the fact that you might sign something and not know the big picture later on. You may not really see the fine print or you, what you thought you were signing may turn out to be something else. So in this video, I am going to go into um, Mercury by the signs and Mercury by the houses and to give you a better understanding of what it means. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Laura from LiveVisions.com and I wanted to give you some information on what it's like to have your Mercury in Cancer. Let me fix this. Um, or the fourth house. Well, Mercury is how you think. Okay, and it's also how you speak, how you communicate, and it's also your th your your mind. You know, so with Mercury in the fourth house, or let's start with Cancer. The sign shows me how, like, how does this person communicate? How do they speak? Well, in Cancer, you're very sensitive. You're the type of person that says, you know, I don't want to hurt someone's feelings um, because you're so sensitive yourself. You know, you probably put a lot of emphasis on how you come off to other people. You don't want to hurt anyone. You're, you're very receptive to um, how someone's maybe feel, you know, how they may be feeling. You know, you, I think you're more careful with your words. Um, you can be intuitive, you know, because don't forget, Mercury is the mind. So you can probably pick up on people's thoughts you know, um, and what they're thinking and by their body language or whatnot. Um, cancer is a very intuitive sign, but also a very sensitive sign. So you're probably, you're going to be the type of person who talks and you're going to be very sweet, you know, like, oh, come over and, you know, um, you're going to probably be very warm when you approach people. Like, I hope you stay for dinner or, you know, come again, you know, I can't wait to see you, how is your family, you know, you're going to be very engaging, I think, uh, in a warm way. You could be rather shy, too, you could be kind of, um, you know, when you're not sure of a situation, you could kind of keep to yourself and go into your little shell, um, but when Mercury is in the fourth house, so that's the how you're going to communicate, now where... Um, is the where your mind might be. You may be very concerned when Mercury's in the fourth house with your home and your family and your domestic life. Um, you know, I want to see if you have to move or if there's any kind of upheaval, upheaval in the home or changes. You know, this, this could upset you. But for the most part, your thinking in your mind is always regarding home and family. And I would say that you're very sensitive, nurturing, person, um, you, you know, um, you could be overly concerned with maybe problems of the home or it could be fixing the home in some way, you know, it could be, you know, because Mercury is how you think, you know, so you, oh, your family may be important to you as well, your, your relatives, you know, you could be um, sensitive with family members, you know, or children, 
you know, these things may really, um, you know, be on your mind a lot. You know, you could be thinking always about your kids or, you know, oh, what's going to go on with the house or, you know, maybe if, um, you know, things could be tight or something with a house, house payments or something, you could really, this could take up a lot of your thinking. And, um, but I want to say overall, you're very nurturing and very sweet and loving, um, person who gets hurt easily you know you because you're so sensitive that's why you're so careful about hurting other people but sometimes let's say you come in contact with somebody whose mercury was you know i don't know in capricorn or virgo you you could get really and these people can be blunt with or in aries you know could be just say what they feel they don't care you know and you could be hurt you know because you watch your words where other signs don't so you're make a conscious effort to be, you know, you don't want to hurt anyone. So anyway, I hope this kind of gives you um, a good synopsis of Mercury in the fourth house or in Cancer. Um, I am resuming classes in February if you'd like to take a basis class or an aspects class coming up. Um, and one little caveat too on the Mercury thing you always want to not only look at the house, but you want to look at the sign, okay? Because, like, let's say that your Mercury is in a different sign, and maybe it's in the fourth house. So you're going to be concerned with home and family and things that, like that nature, but maybe you communicate like an Aries, you know? So that means you're going to be a direct person. I'm just saying you, you, mean, you need to watch more than one video for this, you know, to get the whole picture. Because the sign is how you communicate. And the what is pretty much the house that it's in. You may be focused on that house, like whatever that topic is. Anyway, if you have a question, just put it below and I'll help you out. But um, I just wanted you to know that the classes will be resuming in February. We sort of took some time off for the holiday. Um, also, I have added some new things to the website. So if you wanted, um, I have a lot of reports that I've added. The future forecast report is awesome. It's like 50 to 70 pages long. It gives you transits that are going on and things to look out for that are coming up for you based on your birth date and birth time. A child report is great if you have a little kid and you kind of want to know what should I get him into, like, you know, what hobbies or what, what would he be good at when he's older and maybe I should start him now. This is a great report for that. Um, also, um, what is the other one? Oh, I have a lot of them on Sinistry and, you know, romantic relationships, you know, how you would get along with someone else. You have to just choose which one you like. The reports are about $30 each, so they're pretty reasonable considering they're very long. Um, anyway, I just thought that I'd let you know that these are available. I just added them, um, but I tried them out to make sure that they were good and uh, worth the money, and they are. So anyway, um, I hope you have a great New Year's, and if you are a Cancer, um, I hope Christmas was wonderful for you, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.